As we showed you earlier in the show, JTA unveiled a new German prototype autonomous shuttle as a possible foundation for its Bay Street project during the opening of the UITP North American Transportation Forum. The Bay Street project began four years ago last month when JTA was awarded a $12.5 million federal build grant by then U.S. Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chao. Since then, JTA has added two new test tracks and tested eight vehicles operating on five different platforms in search of the one that best fits our city's needs. The latest vehicle, a new prototype from Germany, was delivered to JTA in mid-January for review and consideration. With design of the Bay Street Innovation Corridor, Phase 1 of JTA's Ultimate Urban Circulator Program nearing completion and construction to start shortly thereafter, a decision on what autonomous vehicle will be the foundation of the program is looming. But there is one glaring challenge now facing JTA and other transit agencies seeking federal dollars to help fund their autonomous vehicle projects. Right now, there are no U.S. manufacturers of purpose-built shuttles. And so we've gone to where the best technology exists, and right now that's, that's Germany. That's a real problem since there is a federal mandate to buy American. We can't buy America if that entity does not exist right now. Two of the latest contenders come from Germany. ZF, a 107-year-old German car parks manufacturer, and 147-year-old Bentler International's Holon project. Both German companies unveiled new autonomous vehicles last month at CES in Las Vegas, the world's largest consumer electronics show. JTA then convinced ZF to ship its prototype to Jacksonville so its team could get an up-close and personal look. Now it's in Jacksonville at JTA's Armsdale Road Test and Learn Center, where JTA automation officials are examining the 18-passenger vehicle to determine its potential as a shuttle for the authorities' U2C program. But the ZF is not the only German autonomous vehicle that JTA is showing interest. The Bentler Holon was also unveiled at CES. The Holon was designed by legendary Italian car design firm Pina Farina, who brought the world such motor cars as Ferrari, Fiat, Peugeot, and Maserati. We are here in Las Vegas at the CES at the world premiere of Holon. This is quite an important milestone for Holon and the Holon team, but as well for Bentler, as our vision is to make future mobility safer, lighter, and more sustainable. If there is a manufacturer that's doing it better than we are, why not partner with them, bring them to America, give them time to ramp up, and then we have American company, we have American jobs, and then when you're talking about technology, you're also talking about higher paying salaries. JTA, who's tested eight different autonomous vehicle platforms to date, will have hurdles to jump if it wants to make one of these two vehicles the foundation of its Bay Street Innovation Corridor project. The Federal Transit Administration requires public transit vehicles to be American-made. That leaves JTA and others pursuing this technology with a problem. Local Motors, the only American-made autonomous vehicle shuttle manufacturer, closed its doors last year. Now JTA is working with federal transportation officials to consider a Buy American waiver until ZF and Bentler Holon have manufacturing plants in the U.S. Both are considering building plants here. We are happy to head for a start of production in 2025 here in the U.S. Be, I would say, the next milestone in autonomous driving here in the U.S. market. U2C project manager Angie Williams says it would be prudent to start thinking differently about the Buy American concept. If they set up shop here, um, if they um, get their local supplies from here, that's really building America versus just buying a certain part. Williams says, based on the recent Florida Automated Vehicle Summit hosted by the JTA, the Sunshine State is out front in the autonomous shuttle industry. And that could prove to be vital when it comes to pushing the technology forward and getting favorable regulatory assistance. Florida is embracing autonomous technology. Florida understands what is in the game for us to be in the for forefront of this technology. 
And so I think JTA does have the clout because we are on the ground floor, we're educating, we're trying to move the needle to actually bring great manufacturing jobs. Let's partner, let's build, build America by bringing the jobs here, the companies here, uh, working with Florida to stay at the beginning in the front of the, the technology. We understand that autonomous vehicles are here. We need to embrace it. We need to put in the infrastructure. We have tested about eight vehicle platforms here at the Test and Learn Center. Um, and when you look at purpose-built shuttles, which is, this is a purpose-built shuttle, um, we can design that vehicle to meet the needs of the neighborhood um, and for it to be agile. Now, the difference between this vehicle and some of the others we have, one um, uh, is just the size. It is a lot larger than the other vehicles that we have in the Test and Learn Center. Um, so the seating capacity is a lot larger. 